What's up everybody? How are you doing? In this video, I want to show you another behind the scenes video we shot with our beautiful model Julia. Alright, let's get right into it. Um, this is the shooting part of the behind the scenes videos and after that uh, I'll show you the editing part, so stay tuned. The set or the idea is basically to shoot just with a white blouse in front of the window front. I saw a photo in a magazine a couple of months ago and I loved the idea. And uh, yeah, it's basically an implied nude set. If you uh, like to see the full uncensored, uncut version of the video and all the uncensored photos, um, they are on Patreon. I'm going to put the link to our Patreon account in the video description. As I told you, the set is pretty simple. I told her to bring uh, just a white blouse. And uh, I'm gonna position her just in front of the window. And we're gonna use uh, two basic light setups. It's silhouette light to shoot silhouettes when you shoot uh, into the light. And now you can see me use using side light to create uh, a more body forming and uh, more contrasty black and white look. Pretty easy light setup, pretty easy idea in general to shoot with a white blouse. You can shoot implied images, you can shoot nude of course. It's so important that like you have fun, you communicate with each other. Um, those are the basics. I'm switching landscape to portrait format, as you can see. Just get different crops, different angles, switch side. We're gonna use uh, the direct light now. As you can see, the setup is pretty simple. Yeah, that's it about the shooting part. And now we're gonna check out the editing part. As you probably know, I basically use two presets one color, one black and white. This is a black and white preset. Uh, well, look, I'm gonna increase the brightness, the exposure of the photo so I don't see uh, the windows. Um, gonna bring down the highlights just a tiny bit to correct. Uh, the exposure and then I don't want to like decrease or increase the shadows uh, because it is a silhouette photo it's basically good to go as it is now we're gonna just take care of the upright and the crop just a tiny bit the position is a little bit to the, to the right side here and I'm good to go. Next one. Black and white preset. Increase the overall brightness just a tiny bit. Let's see. Half a stop is, is okay. Decrease the shadows just a little bit. And then we're gonna take care of the upright.
Do you correct the uprights uh, when you edit your photos? Is this part of your process? Is it just my kink? Just let me know. So we have a few, just a few spots. We already corrected those, okay. So we're about we're good to go. Now sync everything. Um, you can see the window, so I tell you I'm gonna sync everything but transform, healing, crop and masking to the other photos. The exposure is a little bit darker on those, so we're gonna brighten it up, let's say 2.5. That's about it. Don't decrease the shadows here. And I'm gonna just a little bit too bright on her face. Let's see, we can decrease. Just by lowering the highlights. As you can see, that's perfect. Just go like minus 25 in this in this case. Just correct the crop just a tiny bit. Not much. Perfect. And now we're gonna sync this image, this edit to the next image. Once again, I like the overall look. Just gonna fix the upright. And here I'm gonna use a radial gradient to brighten up her face. I like to to use the gradient and not the let's say AI selection of her um, of her skin or her face or whatsoever because I want to create uh, just a, a little bit of a gradient. It's a little bit softer. And here we go. That's perfect. So that's about it. That's my workflow editing black and white images. In this case, um, the colored photos of our new set with Julia. If you want to see the full set, uh, link is in the de description, uh, the link to our Patreon account. Um, like when you consider editing, when you consider like finding your style, always try to find, you know, consistency, a repeatable process. Um, uh, so you are efficient, you're fast, you have consistent results and you can deliver photos your clients saw on your website, on your social media and what they expect from you. So that's, that's about it. Hope you enjoyed the video um, and I'll see you next week.